Hello guys, today we are going to talking about uh, how to use a, a nonlinear dynamical model in a unit application and how to be implement the whole the dynamics and control the performance on the unity system. Okay, and so uh, we have tried uh, for a cars nonlinear dynamical model with five parameters in the, in this uh, application, which means that uh, the states are the side uh, slip angle. Uh, psi parameter which means that the <coughs> torque or inertia value or the effective elements of the torque or inertia elements of the car and so the uh, car speed is a another state parameter and uh, we have the x and y position as an axis for the rotation or direction of the car okay and so in unit application, we have the front drive, front passenger, and rear drive, and rear passenger in that direction. And we have the motor force, uh, uh, which means that the, we use this thing in order to control the speed of the car. Okay? And so, for an example, if you run this uh, car dynamics, we have a physics motor with a uh, five state uh, parameter in system dynamics model okay and so if we rerun or the run this program the car is moving into the desired path okay the reference path is uh, showing us or the showing by the red and blue line in that direction okay and so if uh, we have a PID parameters uh, which means that uh, we impl implement the PID controller on this diagram and so in order to control the whole car dynamics with uh, using the steering angle and the force to be used in car is derived from the differential geometry based control algorithm which means that it's, it's a kind of the feedback linearization method but uh, we need to uh, split or consist of the controller input by uh, using the sinusoidal or cosin cosinus uh, function block diagram because the steering angle if the steering angle is uh, 45 then the rear or front rear or wheel produce a two force variable which means that the longitudinal force is affected by the this steering force okay and so <coughs> we need to split or the we need to combine this uh, steering angle and the force given to the car into the one form okay and so differential geometry based control uh, is used for this purpose and so this is standard feedback linearization rule in here and then the car is moving in the desired path at this moment okay and so we need to increase the reference speed at this time in this it's a 20 and in that direction, in that uh, form of reference speed, the car is moving and and overturned in that car. Okay, and so we have a physics motor, which all representing of the five state parameter, and then we have the car dynamics in as much as in the real life application. So as an engineer. We need to implement this kind of program in unit application because uh, we modeled whole the system in system dynamics performance and then we get the whole the result of the analysis in that direction, okay? And so, <coughs> in order to control of this algorithm, again, uh, we need to implement or we need to reuse the discrete controller design. But if uh, we are using the feedback linearization control, then we had a discrete PID controller with the parameter of the proportional integral and derivative parameter of the this kind of things okay and so we have the novel physics motor for the <coughs> car dynamics and so in the next time we trying to we will try to implement of implementing of the flight controller dynamics with a given flight thanks to the Aliburak to help me uh, to create uh, this organization or to create uh, this uh, unity application and then we will together 
uh, implement the whole things uh, correct. And so education is an important parameter for the students, but the students are highly effective by using these things. So uh, this uh, Unity application is attractive for the students. And so we need to evolve in the technology, okay? And so we are the future.